In this video, we will understand the concept of arithmetic progression. Now, progression means if a set of numbers follow a particular pattern, that is called progression. In case of arithmetic progression, they are added or subtracted by a particular number. That particular number is called common difference. So, for example, if I have numbers like 3, 5, 7, 9. So, in this case, I can again guess the remaining numbers because these numbers are following a pattern. If we add 2 to each number, this is called difference. So, they are in arithmetic progression or AP and they follow a particular pattern and that they differ by number 2. So, here common difference is 2. So, generally in the question paper, you will be having questions like identify if the given numbers are in AP. So, if this is my first term, second term, third term and so on. So, if T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2, then we say the given sequence is in arithmetic progression. Now, let us go a little step ahead and understand a few more concepts on that. So the first term is also known as A. Apart from T1, we can also call it A. So, in case for this series, I have to find out some nth term, let's say 20th term. So, the formula for nth term, that is Tn, is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D, where n is the number of term, the, the nth term that we are supposed to calculate. For example, if we take this case and if I want to calculate, let's say, the 10th term here. So, in this case, n is equal to 10, d is equal to 2 and a, that is the first term, is 3. We just, we have to apply here. So, t10 is equal to 3 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 into 2. So, 9 twos are 18, 18 plus 3 is 21. So, here my 10th term is 21. Now, let us do a question to understand this concept better. Now, this kind of questions are very probable in your board exams. The question is, how many two digit numbers are divisible by 3? Now, generally kids make a mistake and they start with this, their series with 3. In this case, we are supposed to start our series with 12 because 12 is the first two digit number which is divisible by 3. So, 12, 15 and so on and last two digit number will be 99 that is divisible by 3. So, my last number is 99. So, 99 here is my Tn, A is my 12 and because we are supposed to find numbers divisible by 3, they will of course be you know on a sequence with 3. So, here the common difference will be equal to 3. So, we will apply the formula Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Tn here is 99. So, 99 is equal to 12 plus N minus 1 into 3. We take this 12 here. So, it becomes 87 is equal to n minus 1 into 3. We divide this by 3. So, if we divide it, it will become uh, 29. So, n is equal to 30. So, there are 30 terms which are uh, 30 numbers which are 2 digit and which are divisible by 3. The last concept for this chapter is sum of n terms. Now, till now we have find out that how to calculate any nth term that is for that given sequence. In this case, we are supposed to find the sum of all the terms of that sequence. So, Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula for sum of n terms of an AP that is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. We can also derive one more formula from here 
that is n by 2 into instead of 2a I can write a plus a plus n minus 1 t. Now this is the formula for the last term or nth term. So in case you are not given the common difference in the equation and you are given the last term or the nth term, you can apply the formula as Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l or tn that is the formula for sum of n terms of an AP. So you can apply this or this depending upon what is given to you in the question. Now let us have a question to understand this concept better. So we are given a sequence here 100, 150 and so on and I am asked that find the sum of 21 terms of this series. So in this case A is equal to 100, B is equal to 150 minus 100 which is equal to 50 and N is equal to 21. So we just learned the formula that is Sn is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. We we'll just put the values here. So N is 21. 21 by 2 into 2 into what is A here? 100 plus 21 minus 1 which is 20 into D is 50. So this will be 21 by 2 into 200 plus 1000. This is equal to 21 by 2 into 1200. We can strike this off as 600. So the answer is 1, 2, 6, double, 0. Similarly, you can do more questions based on these formula from your textbooks and the reference books.